there is a common sort of basic proof playground type of problem, which is tilings by dominoes. So a domino is a thing that is basically two squares. And we're thinking about this in the context of if we have a sort of checkerboard, we can ask questions about how to tile this checkerboard with dominoes. So a tiling is where we lay down dominoes to cover every square with no overlaps between the dominoes. So this, for example, these are all our dominoes, is a tiling of this 4x4 four four checkerboard with dominoes. And just as like a very basic example, you can say things like, um, if you have an odd number of squares in your checkerboard, then you can see that you will never be able to tile it because your dominoes have to take up evenly many squares because each domino takes up two squares. So you'll always have one left over. So let's do a nice little tiling proof with actually something slightly different, which are L triominoes. So an L triomino, so uh, tri just means it's three blocks instead of two, and L means that you arrange them in an L shape. So it's like this. This is an L triomino. And you can rotate it to get other things. You can rotate it and flip it over and get all those different combinations. So claim any 2 to the n by 2 to the n checkerboard with a single square removed so consider maybe like a 4 by 4 checkerboard and take one square and delete it from your checkerboard So something like this. And the claim is that any such checkerboard can be tiled by L triomenes. So let's prove this. And as you can probably suspect, uh, we are going to prove it by induction. So our base case. is n equals 1. And in this case, there are four possible boards based on which square we are deleting. So n equals 1 means 2 by 2. But actually, so OK, so for example, we could delete this square. 
or we could delete this square. But really, we can get any one of the others by just rotating them, right? So if you rotate this a half, uh, a quarter turn, you get this thing. Um, so let's not, you know, let's not worry about all of them. And how do we tile these things with L triominoes? Well, hopefully, if you understand what tiling means, it is not too hard to see. Each one just takes a single L triomino like this. And this one, same way, single L triomino fits perfectly. And etc. So the two more, you could do exactly the same way. So that's the base case. For n equals 1, we've shown that any 2 by 2 checkerboard with a single square removed can be tiled by L trams. So the induction step lets um, let n greater than 1. And assume the result holds for n minus 1. So this time, let me actually not, um, not write out in detail what the inductive step, what the inductive hypothesis is. Um, when you're writing proofs, I encourage you, if you're having trouble, to write everything down very concretely. But if you are looking for brevity, you do not always need to write down everything. So uh, we will see, you know, we know what the induction hypothesis is. It's that a 2 to the n minus 1 by 2 to the n minus 1 checkerboard can always, with a single square removed, can always be tiled. And so let's consider a 2 to the n by 2 to the n checkerboard with one square removed. Hmm. So let's draw some kind of picture of that. It's going to look something like this. And let's say there is some square removed somewhere. So how are we going to prove this by induction? How are we going to use this inductive step? So OK, so this board is 2 to the n by 2 to the n, right? So we know that we can do things for 2 to the n minus 1 by 2 to the n minus 1 boards. So let's think if we know a way to reduce the situation to that situation. So the first idea you might have, <clears throat> excuse me, is that if you split this board in half both ways, then each of these smaller boards has dimension 2 to the n minus 1 by 2 to the n minus 1 because it's just half as big in each direction, right? And we know our inductive hypothesis is that any 2, at two to the n minus 1 by 2 to the n minus 1 checkerboard, we can tile. Or excuse me, any such checkerboard with a single square removed can be tiled. So this guy in this corner is looking good to go, because he has got one square removed. So this one, um, let me write in here in little small letters. By induction hypothesis, we can tile this one because it is a 2 to the n minus 1 by 2 to the n minus 1 board with a single square. But what about these three? They do not have a single square removed. 
So we cannot apply the inductive hypothesis. So we will have to do something else. Or we will have to think a little bit harder. And actually some thought, you might have the clever idea to place a single L triominum that covers one square of each of these boards. So what we mean by that is that, say you put an L triominum right in the middle here. So that it covers one square of this board, one square of this board, and one square of this board without interfering with this board at all. Aha, because now, once you've placed this guy, you can treat each of these boards as having a single square removed. Um, and so then, with this placed, you can tile this one by induction hypothesis, and again, and again. Aha, and so now, since we have tiled each of these quadrants, well, that accounts exactly for all the squares of our checkerboard. So we can tile each quadrant And this gives a tiling of the whole board. And that, I believe, completes the induction step and the proof. So a quick question. Um, how do we know what the base case is? And the answer is that it depends a little bit on the situation. So maybe I'll say more about this in the next section. But generally, usually you can look at the problem and see something like this, where you're working with sort of the natural numbers or the positive integers, integers greater than one, something like that. And the base case is usually going to be whatever the smallest thing is. So in all the examples we've seen so far, we had something like for n at least one, blah, blah, blah. And the base case is the thing that you're, you're starting from there. 